Welcome back to an all new episode of the Filmaholic. Um, this is the One Tree Hill rewatch, obviously. Um, I hope you guys have been checking out all the videos. If not, go back and uh, take a look at those. We are done with season six now, so I, I knew when I got to the end of season six what I wanted to do was talk about my trip to Wilmington uh, to watch the season six finale being filmed. Well, we actually watched the season six, some of the season six finale, as well as the tail end of the episode before that, which was the Lucas and Peyton wedding. Um, you know, this is, had been my fourth trip to Wilmington uh, for One Tree Hill related reasons. The first time was with my dad. Uh, we didn't, I didn't know anything about filming or anything like that then this, in, in terms of like what would actually be going on and turns out like they don't film on the weekends obviously I know that now but didn't know it then so we just toured the studios the first time I went second time they were filming only at the studio so I didn't get to watch filming but I did get to see Sophia Bush all from the distance so that was cool and both those times I went on a studio tour um, third time I went was with my dad again and we went it was like a film festival thing that Wilmington was having where they're doing a Q&A with Chad Michael Murray, Paul Johansson, and Greg Prange. James Lafferty was supposed to be there as well, but couldn't make it. And uh, that was the first time I actually got to meet one of the cast members. I met Paul Johansson that time. So, and, and that was just incredible. He was super nice. I, you know, I've talked about that in, in other videos uh, around when that episode came out. Uh, that was the ninth episode, I think they were filming of season six. So I talk about that in that video, but then I came this time with my mom, and this was probably, I don't know, I, it's hard to say between this one and season seven, which trip was actually my favorite, because they were both super incredible uh, of, of trips and experiences in my life. I would say, pro if I had to pick, I would say this one, because this is one of my favorite episodes of One Tree Hill as well, the season six finale. And I got to meet Paul again. And this, you know, when when I came on this trip, I met Chad Michael Murray for the first time. I, I'd seen him in person already, but I actually got to meet him twice during this trip. Um, I got to meet Sophia Bush. And I'll, you know, I'm going to show all these photos, so you're going to see all of it. But yeah, so let's just jump right into it. it. You know, like I said, this was around March when that's when usually when they filmed the, the finales, at least from my experience of when I went uh, for six, seven, and eight, and I'll do videos for all of those, you know, for the trips, uh, and then when they filmed the season nine finale, it was obviously in November, and, and we'll talk about that too, because I was an extra on the season, season nine finale, uh, and this is at uh, Greenfield Lake Park in Wilmington, which is where they filmed the, the Lucas and Peyton wedding. Um, I saw James Lafferty for the first time in this, uh, when I went on this trip, didn't get to meet him though, he was, um, had to catch a flight, I think they said. Uh, was the reason he didn't come over to uh, talk to fans. Not that he knows fans that he has to come over, but that was the reason. Um, Chad did come over. Uh, super cool. I am going to show some photos of me in this, but yeah, uh, this was like 11 years ago, so I looked very different, obviously. So yeah, this was the same day, I believe, but later in the day, uh, we went back. I forgot some food. Because at the beginning of the day we went, they were obviously, they were filming episode uh, 623, and they were filming the beginning of the episode. I actually got to see some of that being filmed with um, Lucas and Haley uh, when he brings his song out and gets her ordained, and then obviously Nathan shows up to see Haley. They were filming that stuff in the morning. Um, and that afternoon, they actually filmed stuff from the wedding. So this is what we see here with Mouth um, getting in the van, about to take him to film. They had camp set up uh, right down the street a little bit um, with all the trailers, and then they would come to this spot to actually film. You can see Skills there. Uh, and then there's little Jamie. I actually met him uh, next season, when I'll show photos of that, Jackson Brunage, um, in, the, in the season seven uh, finale. Um, and then there's Junk, and there's Fergie. Yeah, and that's all the ones I met that day. Um, but I, I did know they kept talking about a dog, and there, there was there was going to be something to do with the dog in that season. And we saw Jamie with the dog, and uh, when they were filming that, and here's Trick by the way. But um, we didn't know what it was going to be, and it turns out, obviously, the, the whole dog thing was the eating Dan's heart, which had already happened at this point in the show, but we just hadn't seen it yet, because it, it came out the next week. 
here are the signs they have around Wilmington um, to let you know that hey we're gonna be filming um, you know if you don't want to be in the you know possibly in a shot stay out of the area here's close over bros and here's outside of close over bros with the cameras getting set up and the lights and whatnot um, and you can see in the corner down there are people sitting on the street okay and that's where we were um, it, all the time you would have fans um, that would gather up around uh, where they were filming and, and the assistant directors and everything they would come around and they would move you to different spots um, depending on where they were going to shoot you know they, you couldn't be in their shot like if, if they were going to film out that window um, towards Port City Java you had they couldn't have you there obviously so they'd move you to the other side of the street but where they were filming uh, this scene this what you can see Sophia there um, where they were filming and Greg Prange as well is is the scene where Peyton comes to close over bros and you know they have like a little crying moment and everything um, it, it's the, towards I think it's the beginning of 623 and that is when um, you know, she, pretty much Peyton tells Brooke that she needs her to watch after Lucas if something happens to her. Um, but we got to watch that being filmed um, from across the street. And this one, I'm only going to slightly show myself in this, but this is me and Sophia the first time I, I met her, and, and she was just incredible. Um, and there's me again with Sophia across from there. And her again. I wonder how much business it brought into biz like local places like Port City Java, which actually was Karen's Cafe in the some scenes in the pilot. Um, let's see again. And there's Austin Nichols. Uh, met him for the first time as well. He came over. Um, they were later that afternoon. They filmed um, the scene where he comes after the the wedding to, to talk with Victoria um, and we got to watch that scene be filmed he was super nice as well as you can see in this photo here when I met him that he he already has like the punch where he got hit by Nick Lachey the makeup of that um, but yeah he was super cool I got an autograph from him he said he was gonna sign over Chad on uh, the season 3 box he, jo he was joking he didn't really do that Now here is this boat. Now this isn't much really, you know, One Tree Hill related, but it was part of the trip. Um, it was there in Wilmington at the time, and I haven't really seen anything like that there since. Where it was this old timey ship, um, and you can see here a, a little thing about it. It's called the Peacemaker, but it is in a shot in the season six finale when Lucas and Peyton drive away, um, which we're about to get to and talk about. You can actually see the ship when the camera pans to the river court, and when I watched that scene be filmed too, and then filmed that on the river court, um, you can see the ship in the distance. So I didn't want to include it a part of this, but you got they they the family lived on the ship, and they brought it to you know the uh, downtown, and people could go on it for free and just like check the boat out and whatnot. It was it was really cool. And then here we get to the big stuff, right? Um, I actually got to see them film the the drive off, the send off of Lucas and Peyton. I mean obviously we see Lucas one more time but we don't ever see Peyton again. Um, but And I got to see them film this final scene. And obviously at the time too we didn't know uh, and as an audience this was going to be their last scene. Uh, we were just new. It was them going for a drive in the Comet. And the Comet was fixed and they were going for a drive in it. Uh, we didn't really know that it was going to be driving off into the sunset or in this case the sunrise. So this was an early morning shoot. Um, and it was the last day that we were in town, so it was a, I think it was a Sunday, which and they don't usually film the weekends, but they had to they just had to film it. They were I don't know if they're behind schedule, what was going on, but they just, it worked out that they had to film some stuff on Sunday, and some other stuff behind the scenes. By the way, this is Mark Schwann in in these photos, um, the creator of the show. Um, but. So they had one side of the street closed on Market uh, downtown. It was actually the, the side of the street that they should be driving on, and it was closed. So they actually, when the, you see them drive away in the finale, it's actually them driving the wrong side of the road because the other side is closed. 
Um, so that's a little behind the scenes thing. Also, like I said, it was early in the morning, so it's really them driving off into more of the sunrise than a sunset. Um, it was a Sunday. It was super cold uh, outside, which it had been warm most of the trip up until then, and then it got super cold. Um, yeah, and then they moved across the river afterwards. But this is just some of those shots. I, I really hate it because I, I did get to meet Chad and Mark uh, when they were filming this. But I didn't get to meet Hillary. I saw her in person here. And I saw her in person actually the day before, uh, a couple days before too when they filmed the stuff at Close Over Bros and she showed up. But, um, you know, she hadn't came over to, with the fans yet. And my mom was wanting to go get food before we went across the river because I, another fan had told me that she heard a rumor that Paul Johansson was going to be across the river. Um, it turns out he was, um, that they were filming a scene with Dan after this. Um, and it was his first time, actually Paul's first time back since he had been gone, uh, you know, after directing episode 19. So it had been at least like, I don't know, like a month or so that he had been gone. And it was his first time uh, being back to Wilmington and filming for the finale. So we knew we were going to do that, so she wanted to go get food, and we left because we thought all that had happened had happened. It turns out right after we left, Hillary came over and met with fans, so that sucks that I didn't get to uh, to meet her. And she is definitely the one person on the show that um, that I haven't met, but that I do want to meet. Um, and the filming actually was paused for a second, too, because of this big boat, um, this freighter ship came by. And it's the only time really I've seen a ship that big come through. Uh, the Cape Fear River at Wilmington too. I mean, I don't, I don't live in Wilmington, um, so I'm sure this happens more often than that. But uh, as far as the times that I've been there, it's the only time that I've seen that happen. Um, but yeah, it, it was a super, super cool seeing seeing them film this scene, and I always have that with me. Um, they have little baby Sawyer out there as well, and then I met Chad again. And here we move across the river. We're at the river cord now. And, you know, I, I met this lady um, from France, actually, and we, we kind of became friends on this um, this little trip that I did. And she was a big fan of Dan as well, and she's the one that told me that the rumor was that he was going to be across the river filming the scene at uh, the river cord. Uh, we get over there, and obviously we see his uh, character Suburban parked out there. There's a photo of me with the, with the Suburban. Um, uh, they had it over in this certain area first because before they actually filmed scenes with um, Paul and before he came out, they were filming that shot, which is the final shot of season six, where the camera pans across the river and we see the boat and the river court uh, with nobody on it. Um, but that was the same time they filmed this scene too. So then they moved the car over where Dan would new, you, you know normally be parked. Um, I wish I could get some of this stuff too, like. Uh, these these director type chairs uh, with One Tree Hill that would be pretty cool. Um, I did get you know they were throwing out some merch at the time to some of the fans and they threw out like frisbees and stuff with One Tree Hill. And I, I didn't actually get to that. Almost got a frisbee, but I did get a uh, tackled by like a forty year old woman. Um, but yeah, I loved what being able to watch this stuff be filmed and then Paul showed up. And I'm like, oh my god, you know, this is so cool. Not only, you know, am I getting to, to see him again in person, get to watch the scene with him be filmed, but also this confirms that he's not dead, because, you know, at the time, everybody was, you know, at least the, the Dan, fans of Dan were, you know, was he going to get killed? Because in the trailer, or the preview of the, of the next episode showed him in the, in the ocean, and, uh, you know, the stuff with the heart and everything, we didn't know what was going to happen. Um... But this scene, this is interesting because this scene did not make it in the episode. This scene's not in the season the finale. Uh, it's not in the deleted scenes either, which uh, it irritates me when I know there's scenes out there that don't make it in the deleted scenes. Like if you're gonna have, just put it in the deleted scenes. What's what's the problem? Um, and I don't think I mean there wasn't any dialogue in the scene. Uh, so I guess I understand why I don't know. I would have still put it in there because I feel like I know where the scene was supposed to be. Um, I'm pretty sure that it was going to be his first. Well, after we see him in the graveyard, which is like in the opening of the of the episode with the music and everything, um, I think we're going to see him on the river court again because in the scene you see him pick up the ball and look at it, the basketball that's on the river court, 
and he he's in thought. So my my thought is that it would have this, and then it would cut to him with at Whitey's, uh, or going to see Whitey, um, or at least be the transition somehow into that. And they felt like they didn't need it, and really you didn't need it. But I wish that it would have been stayed in there. Not only just because I watched a B film, but I, I thought it was a good it, it was a good idea for the the, the transition there. Um, but yeah, Paul was it was very well liked. I mean, as you can see here, Sophia showed up to see him. Um, because he had been gone for a while, like I said, uh, since he directed episode 19, but then he left, I guess, Wilmington, and then came back. Um, so Sophia came, she wasn't even filming that day, she came to see Paul, um, and then obviously Paul goes and change, gets in his fan outfit, comes back over and starts talking with the fans, and signing autographs and whatnot, and that's when I got to meet him for the second time. Uh, and he was still super nice just like the first time I had met him um, and I was even though I hadn't met him before I, w I was still so like just afraid to talk to him and my mom was like hey after I took she he took the one photo with me and then my mom was like hey um, he he's your you know uh, he's a big fan you're his favorite character and and he was like hey let's take another photo and he took another photo with me um, yeah and just super super nice and I got him to sign my season three box as well and then Chad showed up Chad showed up um, to meet to talk to you know uh, see see Paul as well and I did not do well, I already took a picture with him but but Chad was filming that day across the river and then he got done filming and then came over to the river port to see to see Paul um, and then I uh, took another picture with Sophia at the river court and then I finished watching them film the scene with Dan, and then the trip was over. Uh, we went back, uh, went back home. That was the end of the, the trip. So I mean, there was obviously stuff after that that they filmed. But uh, I wish I could have just stayed there the whole time and watched the, the all of the finale be filmed. But um, I think I, I really got a, a lot of the good parts. I mean, I got to meet all of these different people. Um, I got to see these big scenes like Lucas and Peyton driving away, um, and I was really happy that I got to see Dan. I, did, I don't ever. I never got to see Paul again after this um, filming anything, which is unfortunate. I really wanted to meet him again when they were filming season nine, but it didn't happen. Um, but I have more incredible trips and experiences that I can't wait to talk with you guys about. Um, if you have any questions about, uh, if you watch this and you have any questions about the trip or any of the people that I met or anything like that, post it in the comments. I, I would love to, to hear the um, what you have to got, guys have to. Uh, to say. Uh, but thanks for checking out this video, and we'll be starting season seven soon, and we'll be making our way through that. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.